welcome to the Hello show. Hello to everybody at home. Everybody at home, welcome Looking as well. extremely well you are. <laughs> What are they doing? Camera. I don't know. Oh, I see. We've got a very short cameraman tonight. <laughs> what are we cooking tonight? We're going to do two simple things, we hope. Lamb fillets with a spinach and onion stuffing, which is really called a soubise. Yes. I'll and also we're going later. to do some marinated pork, not chops exactly, are they? No. You'll see when we do it. Right. We have a lady today, an extremely talented actress, and I think one of the most remarkable transitions from one television series to another, Wendy Richard. She is, I think, one of the most fascinating ladies from going from are you being served to, to what she is now. An old drag. Um, we're going to start with the very first thing. I don't mean that, Wendy, it's the character I'm talking about. I'm just heating a pan up here. As David said, we're going to do, firstly, some lamb fillets, which is going to fill with a stuffing of onion and spinach. And I'm just going to start with some butter, haven't I? I've chopped up a large onion very finely. I'm adding into uh, this hot pot about 30, 35 grams of butter. I'm going to... Did I get that up to maximum heat? No, I didn't. Oh, here we go. It's going to be a rough night again tonight. Very finely chopped onion. Now, we're making actually an onion, or we're starting on the principle. We're really making a white sauce or a roux, but I'm doing it the reverse way by firstly softening the onions. Once I've got this butter melted, oh, it's not my shirt, um, and uh, incorporated with the butter, I'm going to add to that four tablespoons of flour. Just sprinkle that on one. You can count, would you believe? You can't melt three. the butter, but you can count. What? I guess I can't. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you so much for that lady. I know which lady it was. Hey, the lady in the second row here. there. <laughs> Just, as I say, we're talking at roux or a white sauce if you get tangled up with a roux, because I know there are other people called roux on television. Um, then add to this now one and a half cups of, of milk. Just add this in fairly gently, as I say, over a high heat. And they call this, when you make a white sauce like this and start this way, they call it actually a soubise. You don't have to remember that, but it's just one of those pieces of information. Just bring this to the boil. Imagine this has come to the boil, will you? Just Why don't you put you it on the front heat? It's hotter. I know that, David. Well, I will do that at your command. Mark, and turn it up stuff. high. I've turned it up high and I'm turning that off. Just bring this gently to the boil, Hi. which I have done. I can't go any higher than that. I'll be cooking outside the studio. <laughs> Just bring this up, imagine this, because we've done one already, naturally, which I'm going to show you. Bring that to the boil, let it purely to soften the onions, and then add to that a quarter cup, I've got one of these, but it's a quarter cup of cream. <laughs> That's about half! Lumpy cream. <laughs> Stir that, put it aside, and let it chill, which I'm going to do, because I've done one already. You're only it talking, goes very we're only thick, talking doesn't minutes it? here, it goes very thick, like this. You chill, let it cool and chill it, and you've got this very heavy sauce. Now, you'll see the reason for this. David's going to use some of it. I'm then going to put it back into a saucepan, add more milk to make a rather thick sauce to go over it at the end. I'm walking slowly. I can't go any slower I'd, than that. I'd boil yours now, up because this might be all right, gone. I have to move more, slowly away no, from you. Away. I'm not allowed to hurry. Now, with the spinach, this is I very, very trouble. large spinach. You often get very sh small, dark spinach. All you need to do is wash it very, very thoroughly. But before you do spinach, as you know, just take out the rib at the back. Pulling it off because otherwise it's too hard to do. And spinach actually cooks very quickly. Now, you can, in actual fact, cook that in a saucepan by just putting the leaves in as they are with just the water that clings to them, or you can do it in a microwave, in a microwave bag, put it on full power, and do it for about exactly four minutes, and your bunch of spinach comes down to virtually nothing. Now, there won't be very much water in it like this, but the best thing is to just do it over here and squeeze as much any liquid out that there might be. But as I say, if you do it in the microwave, you see there's very little actually comes out from there. But it's good to squeeze it with your hands. And I did wash them before I came on. I don't know what you do at home with yours. You could have been gardening. You could have been patting the cat or the dog. You could have been out on the sand. Is you could have gone to sleep. Oh, they're not feet. cutouts, are they? <laughs> Right, so just take that oh, when it's fairly people. dry, pop that into a food processor or a little chopper, and just chop it up relatively fine. Now, a bunch comes right down to that, but that's all you really need, because that's sufficient for this dish. Now, into a bowl, pop that into a bowl. My hand's all wet now. Would be, wouldn't they? Take your time. It's normal. Pop I'm that in into no a hurry. bowl. Right. I bet you're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> and with this sauce that Peter made earlier, as I say, let it go cold, and it is very, very thick, this cerise, and then add sufficient to that to make up a, so I mean, it's like clag, um, add sufficient, what are you laughing at? There's a lady out there keep laughing on it. Just mix She's this nervous. together like this, because what we're going to do is actually force it through an icing bag, a uh, forcing, icing bag, force it through a forcing bag with a fine nozzle. Hang on, a bit more than that. You should have taken this out a bit earlier, Pete. It would have been easier for me. You want this one? It's perfect. No, 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 no. This is all right. No, no. You see, it goes to a nice paste. And in actual fact, although that looks very little spinach, it actually flavours a lot. Now, there's sufficient with that spinach to do four Quick, of these me. lamb um, fillets that we're going to do for you later on. So take that that over there and then pop this in now the, it's only a fine about half inch plain nozzle and just put this in here take your time and while i do that can you do your other bits oh oh thank you your veggies i'm just noting some butter here and a very hot or not in a hot sauce but a heavy sauce but i wanted to explain julian to you he's not in the audience tonight but i'm going to do it with carrots instead julian is when you're cutting into this julian's size Ethel's pieces dog boy you know you know, Ethel, down the boat. The camera is on me at the moment, so don't bother. <laughs> but you must cut these very, very fine. Like, this takes quite a while to do, but you want to come out with little tiny matchsticks like this because we're cooking this very, very quickly. The whole dish actually only takes 20 minutes to cook. What I've done in here is a white turnip, a large carrot, a large parsnip, and a, a leek about that size using some of the green again cut all into this very fine julienne i'm just going to drain this which is very fried it yet yeah, i can't fry it till i drain it well, i'm I? ready to go well so am i in a minute into a pan of butter you, now, oh all, you actually put it on all okay, we right do here. here is we're just coating these with butter they're going to become the base of these fillets right. of lamb That's enough, Pete. Just stir, them. just stir. Now, this is the tricky bit, right? And this really is a tricky bit. So is this bit. These are two lamb fillets. As I say, you'll get four of these, and they've been well trimmed by the butcher. Now, take a steel and put it into here and just push this carefully through the middle. <gasps> oh, Ain't as on. easy as you think, is it? Until it comes oh, right through to the other end. Where is it? What the pass is for? later on it's for your taties oh, and your butter and when you've enough. got that through like a shazlik type thing all right I'll do the other one as well if it goes off angle don't worry because you're really only trying to flavor it so get that right through like that so you've got it right in that steel take that out and then with a thicker thing probably the, say the handle of a wooden spoon go through again just to try and make that hole a little wider oh <laughs> you done it yet nearly that's Take one. your time. I am. And just at this one through as well. It's not, oh, look, see, it's just popped out the side, but still, it doesn't matter. Oh, I wish I could pop outside. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come outside. Oh, don't. She's killing herself behind there. I can hear her. It's one of her old numbers. Now, then, force this into here. This will be good. Like this. This is going to be spectacular. Shut up. Oh, I wish I'd never picked this recipe. <laughs> see now, see where it's coming out there a bit? Don't worry about that. <laughs> and do it, go to the other end. You finished? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, have you, ever, have you ever tried stuffing a fillet of lamb? <laughs> I mean, it may sound all right, but it ain't easy. <laughs> do both of these now. There's enough mixture festive, to do four. Festive, festive. I'm nearly, fi I'm nearly ready. I'm nearly ready. Oops. Quick, oh, oops. Oops. Oh, it is in there. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll get the next it. lot out, really. Hang on. No, get, the, get the bit ready. No, no get your veggies ready. Are you ready? Is it my turn? Yeah. Now, what we've done, as I say, we are talking here only, cooking these for a few moments. That's why you do them thinly, so that you can... Ooh. Um, as I say, have them just slightly softened or sweated, as they call it. Uh, and then the lamb is going on top of this, and it's going to be baked on for 20 minutes. Happy. Now, what you're supposed to do with the recipe is strew, and strewing over the plate means just don't throw them in like that. Make an elegant bed, right? Bit, like right. this. Right. I've got yep. some butter. Got some butter. Now, as That's I say, this is only it's giving like these flavour inside, but it really is quite delicious. And this will do again four of these. That's a big dob, isn't it? 
Put it over there. Break it up then. Well, I have. Yeah, that'll be enough. You don't need that. I like pizza because there's no don't fat. You've got to get on with your other bits. Now, what you do? Just remember that it's no fat, so add more butter to it. Pardon me. What you do with this is pop this in a preheated oven, which has been heating. That's the wrong man. <laughs> I ain't having much luck today. Pop this in the oven in the middle at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or gas mark six, and leave it there for 20 minutes only, and it'll be beautifully cooked. Thank you, now, Peter. What I'm doing here, partly <gasps> not looking up because I do value my fingers, we've got two very nice pieces of fork. Uh, fork? Fork. <laughs> pork here. Uh, like a, they're little like pork steaks. I had them specially cut this way, fairly thick or as thick as you <coughs> like. What we're going to do with this is cut deep pockets in this. All over. I'm going to do two here. We've got some marinating already. Right. Don't push it right through, although it doesn't matter if you do. And then into each one of these slits, insert. A, I've taken garlic and cut it up into slivers. Get this in. Now, this is a marinated dish that we're doing, and it does require the garlic, and it'll need to be marinated. I like it marinated overnight, actually. It's a good it idea. Now and again. Right, now and the marinade. Me on. I'm sorry. You pushed me off air before. I'm sorry. You can get on now. I'll tell. <laughs> I'll what do you need for this? So it's a very simple marinade. You need a third of a cup of plain vegetable oil. And also, too, you need some grated or chopped ginger. Now, if you're going to grate ginger, you can do it straight like this without peeling it. And if, in actual fact, when you're doing it and you freeze ginger, you can again do it straight from the frozen state. So you only need about half a teaspoon to give it some flavour. And in actual fact, when you do freeze ginger and grate it, you'll find that only the centre will grate and the outside itself doesn't actually go into the dish. So it saves you all that time of peeling it. Then we add to that a bay leaf. Rubbish. Oh. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself tonight, are you? You're having what they all say. <laughs> Get on, they all say, before, now director says before we come on the show, go on chaps, have fun. Just I wish you'd come up, down one night and do this. two or three bay leaves. Also two, take some fresh rosemary and break that into it because it adds a nice flavour as are. well. And the nice soft bit. You don't have to be sort of, you know, chop it up very <sighs> fine. Or oh, one of the things too, one of the things I meant to mention, when you're doing that one with the spinach, add some grated nutmeg to it. And then a tablespoon of dark, soy sauce. Now that adds the salt to it. There's no pepper or anything in this because the garlic gives it its heat. And just mix that together and that's the marinade for you to put your pork in if you want to. Do you want to put that in and put it away or not? Thank you. Yes, of course okay. I do. So what I've done here, as you can see, they're sticking out there, the little cloves of garlic, but they are actually well wedged in. Just pop these in and just make sure you coat them well like that. <laughs> and then just put these in the refrigerator. And if you can leave them overnight, all the better. But just remember to turn them every now and again right. so that slitting the, now, the pork like questions. slitting the pork like that allows the marinade to penetrate the meat and give more flavour. Asking this question, you all understand it so far? No. Yeah. Oh, you're not very convinced. <laughs> you all understand it so far? Yes. Good. You'll That's get only to prove each. we've got an audience. Now, what you want to do then is take this out of the marinade and just. Just pat it on some paper, and because I've got a non-stick pan, you don't have to oil it, and then you just fry it gently, but don't fry it over too high a heat, because like chicken, it doesn't need to be done over an exceptionally high heat. So that's all we do for that at the moment, and then we turn them over. They take about seven minutes oh, in all. Anyway, I hope we have someone call on us soon, because we otherwise we'll never have a guest, we'll never um, have anybody to do it. You're not having, you're not having much luck over there with your subis, are doing you? doing very well, actually. No, let's check out that Have going. you read this? That's, oh, that's quite okay. all right, you right. just leave that alone. Right. I'm doing everything all right, I don't have to oh, turn this over. Oh, potatoes. What? Now, in another pot here, getting another one going. <laughs> You've done oh, that, going. <laughs> No. I've just got here, <clears throat> it's all right, you're prattling on, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm checking my pork. I've done some lightly... Uh, done potatoes here, little butter, I'm just tipping these in. I've let these cool, just shake them round in the butter. Sorry about that camera one. And I've, oh, I've chopped here about three tablespoons of very finely chopped parsley. Just toss that in and then shake them round. This is to butter and coat the potatoes and just leave these aside to burn and warm. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Howie, Howie. It's oh, only me. Oh, it's come, come next come on, door. Then. Ever since she's Everyone moved next door, she they? always wants something, this woman. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you're looking very nice. I oh, love to see you. Oh. We're so glad <laughs> you yeah. next door. I just popped in to see if I could borrow a cup of wine. Oh, what could are you Could it be cooking? cheaper and borrow a cup of flour? What? No. <laughs> what are you Drink cooking? It. 
Thank well, you. I'm You're not going to. very nice tonight. Where Thank are you going you. out, are you? Um, well, I was just passing your door and I thought, well, I'd just pop in as I said, you know, I needed a drop of wine. So I thought, I'll pop in and see if you were doing anything and oh. if you had anything cooking like. Uh, care to stay for dinner, would you? Oh, how kind. I'm so <laughs> unexpected. Thank you. And Henry, how's Henry since you moved up here? It's oh, nice to have you as a neighbour. Thank but you would very you stop much. looking over the fence every Thank morning? It, dis it disconcerts well. me in the garden. No, I've just been checking you've been doing your laundry properly. I see you're getting your shirts up yes, nice and wide. Yes, it's got a very good one. Have you been down that one in the corner? No. Very no. good. Well, of course, you know now I'm, I'm well in with the paint factory. Are you? What are you doing? Yes. Oh, you well, I'm a checker. Night. I've got a proper job. Oh, that's cool. And I've left her, uh, you know, with the fags and the vitamin pills, I've left her. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, I'll tell I you say, what, this is nice. You, I'll tell you what, it's one of the things, cool. you know that Peter was saying earlier about the transition bad. between when you did um, yeah. I being served, yes. yeah, and that, where, how long did that take? I mean, was it long between one show and the next? Well, not really, um, because we finished, we did the last series of I being served in 84, and then we started working on EastEnders six months before it actually went out, you see. So when it started to go out, this is good, this is. On the Monday, I was the first ever guest on Terry Wogan. On Tuesday, EastEnders started. On Wednesday, Are You Being Served was on. On Thursday, it was EastEnders. On Friday, I had a Dad's Army repeat. Sunday, I had nothing at all. No, Saturday, I had nothing at all. And Sunday, I was on EastEnders again. A six there out of seven days. Yes. But as I was saying to our viewers, I really mean it. Excuse from, me. From Are You Being Served, it was such a total change, wasn't it? Because you become a really dreary watch. Well, yeah, you're it was not a bit a of a good... shock to me, actually. Yeah, you're not a very good cook, are you, Wendy? Oh, I do. I enjoy cooking. Yeah. Cheeky but, you see, I always believe, always look after the cook first, which is why I always open a bottle of wine before I start doing anything at all. Couldn't agree no, with you, you make more. good gravy. I make wonderful gravy. Who told you? I read about it, but I don't know what you do with it. You wouldn't say. What I know. Do even, you know, I'm such a mean cow. I don't even tell my best friend how I make my gravy. <laughs> Go on, I tell I make us. good Yorkshire puddings as well. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. Yorkshire puddings. What's your secret of Yorkshire pudding? The secret of the oh, Yorkshire me. pudding is... They're all rushing off the leaving them. No, yeah. no, the secret... <laughs> I'll talk to you then. The secret of a good Yorkshire pudding is make the batter up the day before you need it. And right. Keep it in the fridge. Right. Then just before you're about to put it in your hot dripping, you know, in your bun tins, Tell me yeah. afterwards, I give it, it another wee... Another good whipping up with a fork, right? Yeah. Get some more air into it. Quick shot of cold water straight from the tap into it. Beat it up again. Chuck it in your dripping. And I tell you, I've had Yorkshire puddings come up so high they have stuck to the ceiling of the oven. <laughs> In fact, it's probably still there now because I'm allergic to housework. <laughs> I know. I mean, copper fingernails. I said to him, you can't do housework with those. Surely. I broke that own. one the other day. I went oh. into shock. <laughs> now, the other thing, just too, I'm just going to take this out. Excuse me. The other very thing, too, hot. that you do, you have a collection of what? Frogs. Why frogs? I've got over... Well, it's all John Inman's fault because years ago, he told me that... That looks like Henry. Uh, he told me that wide mouth <laughs> frog joke, you see. <laughs> So anyway, so I started collecting frogs, but just recently I saw this huge frog. It's from the Far East, and I'm sorry about this, you know, for all the conservationists and everything. It's carved from one lump of wood. It weighs half a hundred weight. Well, these two chaps brought it round. I felt so sorry for them. And he dropped the rear end of the frog, and he's broken a bit off our stairs coming down. Anyway, he says, well, where do you want this then? So I said, well, you better put it in the dining room. And he's, he, they just plonked it and left it there. Don't wonder. I can't move it. Don't blame them. What did you do, walk it. around it? You did. Yeah, you'd leapfrog, wouldn't you? You'd leapfrog, yes. This is a nice one. This is where really you just suddenly we've done this. Can I have them? Yeah, we'll have to get on, because I won't have any meal. We did, so they can just see. So you've got here the spinach that David did. I'll tell you later. I'm busy. Excuse me, Wendy, for a minute. I just want to leave it here and settle a bit. I have never seen such beautifully strewn veg. Aren't they? I oh, <laughs> it is so artistic. Well, you've See, got to strew some as well. some of the stuffings come out, but we won't worry about that, because we're going to eat that later. Nice, that. Now, don't be hind you in, in here. Yeah. No, in there. In here. In here. There's three plates in the bottom, if you wouldn't mind getting those out for I me, please. I say, there's some oven clock. What happened to yeah. salads? Well, you need a big oven clock, because they, they could be quite hot. All right? Mm, lovely. I've just tasted a bit of the thing. Have you? Yeah, it's lovely. Mm, taste it is. Right. Pop those there, and then if you wouldn't mind putting, doesn't break. If you wouldn't mind putting some of those vegetables on yeah, two on of those there. plates to the one side. Now we leave this meat to cool for a little while. I'm not very good at strewing. Uh, to, oh, oh, well, strew is a bit. Uh, oh, think I strew it weird. Yeah, well, no, well, don't put it in the middle. Put it a bit to the side. They strew petals that's and things it. at weddings. Push it around the with the fingers. That's it. Don't drip it. 
Now I'll when do you want me? They're not doing a bag of chips, you know. Yes, just, right, <coughs> just do it like nicely. that. Where are the chops? The chops here. Do you want them? Oh yes. Please. Oh here are. Then I've got to cover. I've got to cut up the meat. I can't do that. Look, these are beautifully that, done. They're just drawing, yes, they're yes, over trudging onto That's the right. table. That's all right. Over trudging. <laughs> well, I suppose it fits with it. Yes, yes, with strewing. Oh, that looks nice. Just it. Now I've just done here where there's some little potatoes. I say tiny. Oh, the smell of that garlic would knock your bandy. It's wonderful. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> potatoes. And where's we've just where's done. Where's tongs? We've just done. Oh, I don't know. Oh, in China. China. Here's, and here is pink oh, lamb. Yes. When you give us a bite, could you please? And it's I'll just very hungry. Quickly, we're running very short of time well, now. Here are, because we've got well, to go out. Come here to work, you well, know. And he came to, for a drink. We to the other we're going out. We're going out. What well, am I coming with you if I've got to stay? Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, I could at any time. Oh, there's no there's much stuffing up this one. Never mind. We'll get this come in. On, quickly. Also, to ouch, ouch. Oh, it's so hot. Sorry, dear. Well, naturally, it proves right now. Also, I've got something else. Isn't it wonderful the way chefs use their fingers for everything? Leave those there. Leave it there. There's something in there. There, that top one there. Take it out for you. No, no, you take it out for you. Put some sauce. You take it out as a surprise. Go on, it's your favourite. My favourite. Rice pudding with meringue. Oh, you did this on the programme. The rice pudding. I love rice pudding. I have never ever been able to make rice pudding. Did you see the boys when they did this rice pudding before? Marvellous. Yeah, they never watch there's us. a plate for it. Now you we'll take that. I'll okay. take the gravy. You take that. When you came in, you take You the take this. You take I'll that. Take I'll take that. Right, I'll take Can this. Can I take me drink? Yeah, no, no leave we've it there. We've got some table. We oh, thought you might you have. Sure? Do sit in the middle there. Yep. We'd love to have you entertained. Oh, what a mess. Lovely. We wanted to spoil you and give you two. Right. So oh. we've got here the pork, as we say, pork um, fillet steaks or whatever you like to use, or pork chops, trim mm. the fat off, the potatoes with the p butter and parsley, and of course this wonderful sauce, and it really Which is a wonderful sauce. Which goes with the lamb on the vegetables. It's really delicious. By the way, if you'd like a complete set of the recipes we're featuring in this series, send a large self-addressed envelope with a 30 pence stamp on it to Hudson Hall's PO Box 7, London W366J. To our audience here, thank you very much for coming. To everyone Everybody's at home, home. thank you for watching. And to Wendy, well, thank you. many, many wonderful. years of work and success. God yes. bless thank you, you my dear. <laughs>